All right, so this was a, obviously a one-dimensional phase portrait or line. What about solution curves? We talked about this in the previous segment as well. Let's talk about the solution curves. Solution curves are 2D, right, by, by its nature. So in this particular case, if I have a solution curve, let's go ahead and uh, plot this. So this will be y-axis. This will be the x-axis, right? Obviously, this will be p. This will be t in this particular case. y and x are replaced by p and t, respectively. So as you know, I have myself three solutions. So one is actually right coincides with zero. So this is actually this line that I have here also turns out to be a solution, right? I also have one more over here as the critical points as A over B. So I have A over B and I have zero as my critical points, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I will look at this, uh, I need to, uh, you know, so th those are general solutions. So in order to go to the particular solution, I need the initial value, right? So what, let's say that P of zero is supplied to me as P sub, zero p naught okay so this is the initial value okay that's nice so let's look at this uh, three regions as you know we have three regions that i have here actually let me pick this up and move them a little bit lower that'll do, that'll do. yeah okay so let's look at these three regions okay and i said that let me go up so I'm being consistent. One is from this, okay. So one will be here. The first region is this. This is the second region. And that is right there is the third region. And I have the face portrait. So let's plot this over here. Arrow wise, I said that this is decreasing. This is critical points, increasing and decreasing. Okay. So now the whole thing will depend on this initial value. The initial value fall in here, may fall over here, and may fall over there as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this one and see what happens. So if my P0 or P0 uh, for region 1, I'm going to have my P0 is less than 0, right? The initial condition. So what will happen is um, this will be, I'm, I'll be here, right? And I will, you see this kind of like a wall. I will not be able to cross this line because this is a critical point. This is the solution, right? So what will happen is it will be I will be bounded above over here. That's what it's called. Okay. And I note that as this is decreasing, so as you see, there's no bound for the bottom of it. So if I go, you know, increase my t value, what will happen is it's going to decrease, 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 decrease any further as well. All right. So now my particular point will depend on what, what my p naught value is. I'm going to assume that my p naught value is here. So then it will happen like this. Okay, so what is going on over here is as I am not touching in here, I'm not, you know, increasing this over here. It's like asymptotic to this, right? It's going down. All right. Now, there's a second option. And the second option, my peanut falls somewhere here, right? Let's write here to be consistent. So my basic to be a peanut like this. So this P sub T is bounded both above and below. You can see they are like walls. I can't really touch them. Okay. And I know that this is increasing. So if I increase like this, what's going to happen is, and, and you know, I cannot cross this wall. So think about this. If I increase, increase, increase like this, I'm going to hit this. So I'm not going to be asymptotic to this critical point. So I have to be. So I only see one option over here. So if I go out and draw this, it's going to be like this. So it's going to be asymptotic to here. Think about this for a second. I don't see any other uh, solution that curve that can fit this. It's going to be increasing and it is increasing. Okay. And I'm being asymptotic. So I'm bounded above and I'm bounded below. All right. So that is the only option that I have. If this was to let me plot this with another color, let's say that this was decreasing and then I would have the opposite of it. Right. So it's going to be like this. All right. So I don't have my choices and you can see let me do it over here as well. So th if this was increasing, then I will have this. Obviously, I need to cross P naught. And from the third uh, region that I have, I will do the same treatment. So in this particular case, what will happen is my P naught will be larger than A by B, right? So then I will, let's say that P naught over here. So it's going to be, you know, 
decreasing as this is decreasing right so think about that i have to have like something like that right i don't see any other choice so i'm gonna draw just like this so i have something like this okay asymptotic to what right i'm crossing at peanut value and again let me plot this if this was increasing then i would have something like that okay so it's going up and up right so obviously the slope you know will depend on this value of peanut right actually just to clean this up a bit before i make my point so let's delete the reds so i can have a much uh, cleaner uh, setup for you drawing for you and you can see this will be the solution for this particular case right there is also one more topic that i want to discuss uh, the topic that i want to discuss is called attractors and repellers all right so let's write this the behavior of the d close to a critical point will determine the stability okay asymptotically stability stability of the solution okay and this is not that this is not only for first order it is applicable for both pdes and odes or it can have higher de as well higher order de as well okay so i'm looking at the slope and the arrows that i identified for my um, phase portrait and i will make in co comments about it so let's actually go ahead and uh, plot uh, possible cases Let's say this is the critical point, and I have here, so I have like I can have four possible cases because I have a critical point. Let's actually draw those four cases. Okay, I have another one here. It's a bit tilted, but they'll do. And I have it here. That's gonna do as well. This is decrease. I can have increase. I can have vice versa. I can have this. This is increase, this is decrease, right? Or I can have in the middle, I can have like both are in the same direction, the arrows. So you can see increase, increase, decrease, decrease, right? So now I'll pick up some of them and I'll write uh, comments about it. So the first one that I'm gonna highlight is this. This is called the attractor. And this is basically stable, asymptotically stable in a close, in a state, close to the CP. I'm close to the my critical point and I will be stable because think about it, uh, you see, both arrows are pushing me towards that particular point, so it's stable, okay? And the system will to move towards my solution, critical point that I have over there, right? On the other hand, if I look at the second case uh, I have over here, look into this. I, I am trying to get closer to this solution or critical point, but it is pushing me away from it. So this is called the repeller. Okay? The second option that I have is called the repeller. So this is definitely unstable. Okay? Um, this is unstable in a state close to the CP, just like the previous one, except that it is unstable. I'm moving away from it. And the third one will um, actually incorporate both of them. You can see it's kind of symmetric, increasing and increasing. If I'm going up like this, you can see that if I'm approaching a critical point, I will be uh, you know, pushed into the, the system will be stable over here. But what about the other side? So if I'm over here, the actually things I will be pushed away from this critical point. So you can see, uh, you can make the same argument over here. And we call this, as you can imagine, semi stable okay now things will depend on the side of the cp so then it will move either towards or it will move away from the uh, critical point right i actually want to go ahead and analyze um, the previous case that i have 
okay here you can see over here so I'm gonna kind of copy and paste this okay I'm back so looking at this uh, what which one is this you see I'm going from top it's pushing me towards the critical point now my approaching from down it's pushing me towards the critical point this point is called the attractor right I'm attracted to that particular critical point what about this uh, this other one I'm gonna give you a few seconds to decide but I'm here I'll be pushed away and I'll, I'm here I'm pushed away so what is this called again this will be called the repeller okay this will be the asymptotically stable condition for these particular cases so in the next uh, segment I'm gonna solve a question a much more uh, comprehensive question to illustrate this one more time I'm not sure whether I was able to capture entire learning and understanding of these fundamental principles okay I'll catch up with you soon. Take care.